So we're here at Nest Recorders in East LA, working with our former sound engineer, and he was even a tour manager for a minute there, Chris Sorum. Let's see what he's doing. How you doing, Chris? I'm good. How you doing? Uh, we're working on track who are we talking to? to? This is the world. Hello, world. <laughs> this is his studio. Ours was the first band to play in here. So, Chris, there are two crucial sounds in reggae. One is echo, and the other is... Reverb. Reverberations. Let's talk reverb for a second. Your average board may have like a little knob for it or something. Yeah. But you, you tend to use stuff at, that's outboard gear. Talk about some of the things you've used in the past and things you're using here today. Yeah, well, I mean, on the mixdown process, we might use this, this space echo, which is more of a delay, but also has a, a reverb on it uh, within it. Uh, over here... Is, what is this? Spring uh, reverb. Fisher Space Spring Reverb. You, you built see. this? Yeah, well, it's out of a Hammond, Oregon. It's the, the spring, and they put it in this case. You can see it's just on a, a send from the board. Okay. So that's that type of so reverb. So you mix out of this board? Yeah. For drums? Yeah. Everything, wow. yeah. That's incredible. Um, there's digital reverbs, and there's the echo chamber. What? What do you mean echo chamber? What do you mean echo chamber? Echo chamber is, uh, I guess, the first original reverb, um, like a hallway. People used to use hallways or or stairwells. Like when you sing in the bathroom, it always yeah. sounds better. Yeah, but longer, you know. It's the same concept as a bathroom. So we built one that actually wraps 40 feet around the control room. What? No. Yes. This is like Al Capone's vault. You're about ready to take me somewhere. What is going on here? Okay, this and is like a little Avion thing that you would normally see in yeah. a church. Yeah, so I take the line output and I can send whatever For I want through any it. Any instrument. Any instrument. Okay. Off the aux, off the board. So the way the concept is, is you put a speaker on one end and microphones on the other. So it's. Oh, the microphone is. It's actually okay. on the other end, so. Oh my gosh. Now the speaker's facing me. Yeah. You really can't see this, but this is. Long haul. Wow! So you're miking the reverberations of the echoes as they come from here, going all the way down there, and then coming back to this stereo pair? Yes. <laughs> we gotta hear this on the board. Let's hear what it sounds like in the board. This is the most exciting thing we've done in recording ever, right here. Chris is a genius. Chris built this entire place by himself. Well, actually, with some friends. A dry signal. Dry signal. What? <laughs> you got to That's huge. Huge. And that's natural. That's, that's not some digital thing. Yeah. So you see a lot of these old boards have an echo on there. Yeah. That's how they used to create reverb on the Elvis records and Frank Sinatra. Uh, they had these chambers underground or wrapped around studios that that would have just to send to the echo room. How many studios in the world do you think have that right now? Oh, uh, I don't know. There's probably a hundred in the world. 